Okay, so we're gonna look based off yesterday, the improvement. So already you can see there's a big improvement. Um, you can see that the center of pressure movement doesn't go left real fast. Right. So, um, just just for the video's sake, can you stand here in the sun? I'll take your club for a second. This is just for when you look at this. Show me where your center of pressure feels like it was going yesterday. Oh, um, like this. Yeah. Like when I was coming up, I was like this. Right. And then I had to come back like that. Right. So you just kind of you stayed in that one spot. Right. So theoretically, if you're if you did that and you came up, you'd you'd miss the ball. Right. So let, let's do the right way now. All right. And on the other side of it, if possible. Which so way? like kind of overdo it if you oh. want to. There you go. Right. Now do that with a little bit more landing. So this is what we got to do with the driver. Okay. Landing so, meaning. Well, if we struggle with it, I'll, I'll make you do it. So okay. you do your best chance of how you would get to your left side. Okay. That's better. There you go. Cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the trace real quick. Come on over here. All right. So, John's the expert on this stuff because he uses it every day. Me, I just turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see you're finally see how this white dot is actually getting to your right foot. Way yeah. right. Way right. Look at that. So now you're. Now what's interesting, and this is kind of, and I've said this to other guys, is the center of pressure and your and everything's going over there. But you didn't sway off the ball at all. You just turned to what well, looks like rotation. Right. But that's still a little sharp here. Aha, very good. So which is shortening it here. Yes, you are. And I did that with my that's what we were talking about. Right. And so what's interesting is how, what is that going to do to your range of motion? Right. So if I start loading my wrists, if I, if I do this, right, my swing gets short because independent motion, right? Uh, so if this thing was this way, so if you're like Rory or DJ or take the top ten golfers in the world, right. they're all going like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, it's not a sense of like being stiff. It's just letting the motion happen that does it. So show us here um, just the back swing. What that would look like, and then come a little closer to the mat so we don't hit the, the TV. Here, I'll move this back this way. Come, come up here. There you go. Okay, so pressures in the balls of the feet starting. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's that going to feel like? Good, keep going. More range. There you are. Look at that. that looks beautiful. That was beautiful right there. Okay, now you want to try that? Okay. Okay, let me flip this around. So potentially, and John, you can, you can kind of jump in here. Potentially that extra from three to four range of motion killer was just the wrist angle loading. Is that too high? Okay, let's try. Do you see a lot of extension coming out of there at that time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is that better? Yeah, that's really good. Overdo it and take take your time doing it. That was a ten. Did we get that one? Yep. That was beautiful. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so one on one. Spin rate's perfect, twenty-five. Three point six up. One point four to the right. Look how much better that looks. Mm. So I don't know, if, go to all the way to four there. See that? Now when I go to there and I look up here, see that's a big difference in where that trace is. Yeah. So some of that is sequencing, mm -hmm. number one. How you move that initial tra uh, pressure trace of your waggle, if you want to call it your waggle, mm -hmm. and then not mechanically trying to do anything with your hands. Okay. All those things are gonna pull away from what you're trying to do there. And let's see, um, what's his transition look like through this, through, from the past? 
Just not from rotating fast enough? Yeah, yeah. You go right into your heel too, a little bit. Okay, that's, I yeah. mean, it's too far into the heel. Yeah, right. Just a little bit, right? A little early? Yeah. Yeah. So when you land, you want to land more towards the ball of your foot? Like this? Land on it earlier. Earlier. Now you got to think of this the right way though, okay? So the right way to think about this, this is not a, this is not direction that you're trying to go in. So watch me. Okay. So you're not trying to do this. Okay, um, stand right there. Okay, now you're good. So it's not go here and then try to go in a direction. It's max out your rotation so that you land into that toe. Now, what did my heel do? Okay, it's going this way. It did. Had to. Right. So you're not trying to go up here and go towards the toe. Oh, okay. So the, the whole idea of, well, Hogan bumped his hips. Like, no, he didn't. Now, he's not here to say I got hold of it. Maybe, maybe he did. But what we're seeing there is that you get to the top, and you get a little bit of pressure here, but then it goes right into your heel. Okay, we, we don't want that to happen. Yeah, so try that. Let's do it with no ball. And see if we can max that, that out. John, can we uh, do one more record? Uh, yes, please. So max out the, the rotation to create the landing. Good, so don't try to get the heel to go forward. Let okay. your rotation do it. Okay. Yep. That's different. Now ready? Do that again. Through too, so I'll capture that. You ready? Do it. That was different. Yeah. That was good. That was really good. Okay, you ready for this? This one takes a minute for this to load. And by the way, guys, do you have any questions on this? Just yeah. say something? Or if you like Dana, you're full of it, just say it. I don't I don't care. It's totally fine. You said it for his rotation to do what with his heel? So because his pelvis is, is making a bigger range of motion essentially, and it's, he has more pressure underneath his right foot, he unloads it, he, he's taking pressure away from his from his left. So, because he's unweighted it, he can keep rotating to the point where now he lands closer to the target instead of trying to slide to the target. So, people don't max this out. They're always going to try to like land. They're going to try to land. Externally, just try to create. Exactly. Down. Did you notice how you did that? Yeah. Can you do that right here for us for a second? That was really well done. Okay, so. Yeah, so stand there. Now, this is not the right way to do it. So, go to the top. Now see how you took a step, and now your right hip is high and your left hip's down. See that? That's not right. So, and also when you went up there. But that step feels kind of right? It does, yeah. So you can also under rotate. See how he hasn't got full rotation. Yeah, that's what I'm It's exactly So right. step drill, no good? No. Stand forward? Well, depending on the, maybe kids, because they're really, they can get, I have a junior that does it, but not, I wouldn't do it. They're just not gonna, they're just not, not gonna load left by doing this. So you load, load, right. load right, I mean left more than you do right with that stuff. Yes, you so do. I like to do this more. Right, and, and you're not in rotation. Right. So, all right, so let's take a look. This is way different. By the way. Is it from two out, my right? Yeah. Man, Your left a little bit, yeah. yeah. Which is not allowing it to yeah. get back open. Yeah, yeah. do you see foot flare on that left side being any? That's what just saying. Yeah, so it, re it restricts if you have too much. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. I felt like I really got turned, but I never got that heel to go back behind me as much. Look at bit. that. Look at that. Okay, so go back to the top there. So this is, this is just, this is, kind of just past transition. So transition there. Now look at the trace. So it's still right. And then it went towards your toe. And what's interesting, you actually got more torque. That's more torque you had before, right? Yeah. yeah. Now look at that position. I mean, here before, he's all thermal and like he'd be on the heel. Yeah. 
So John's saying right there that he'd be on his heel. So look at that. Now you're really good. Awesome.